Hello guys, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Quickly, let me mount the microphone. So to get here, here we are a little bit later on to today. And uh, I'm Marcel, but I'm not alone yet, but I'm sure but Sean. Sean is here for energy, entertainment and motivation. He's a dragon, he's not an ape, he's not a um an 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 rhinoceros rhinoceros <laughs> he's a dragon he has wings he has really big wings on his back so he can fly i'm marcel i'm giving the instructions i'm here for the questions i'm here for the support if you have any questions feel free to ask me and today we're going to do a little bit of a strength exercise in yoga and we just start right away we maybe wait mm, some more minutes and then we'll we make it go. So, welcome in you guys. Hello there. Hi Primitive, how are you doing? I saw you streamed today. So I'm on a little bit later because uh, my my sleeping schedule uh, is a little bit off and I tried to get back to my sleeping schedule. So I kind of slept through the morning and I'm going too bad early today really early today that's the plan how are you doing how is your day going and by the way i'm looking forward to our podcast together that's coming up very very soonish i mean it's all it, it's going for a month more so we have still some time there but next week we have a podcast with um can i say it with habitus <laughs> I, I forgot his name right now. Oh no. Oh no. But uh, we're. It'll come around soon enough. Yeah. Weiger Habitus. Yeah. Weiger Habitus. And we will be talking about nutrition, and it's going to be amazing. Especially for beginners. Like, uh, I try to make it for beginners podcast uh, so beginners can find more information about about eating, about eating right, about nutrition, whatever whatever kind of doing, whatever if they are doing kind of like sports and such. How was your stream by the way, Primitive? Have you had a great stream? And yeah, we're, we're going a little bit into strength in yoga. I mean, not too much. Uh, there's so much you can do in yoga with strength. And yeah, just have a good time here. No, nothing like crazy with what, what you are doing. You are doing really great stuff, by the way. Yeah, I think I, he knows his stuff. Yeah, um, it's going to be amazing. I mean, Matthew gave me the tip of going going and asking him him uh, for the podcast. So Matthew is first class fitness, if you didn't know. And I think he knows his stuff, yeah. It was a good one, felt strong, so I did some weighted calisthenics, muscle ups, ring, ring steps, etc. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Today, today we have day 256 of uh, 2020. How do you feel about that? It's, it's just like 110, 110 days to go in 2020. Crazy. Isn't it? Crazy. So, slowly, slowly, let's get started here. Let's get started here. Um, first of all, we are always doing a little bit of centering. And then in the end, we're going to do some breathing practice. And I thought we we're going for an hour. So from seven to eight, at least for in Central European time, we're going just for an hour, wherever you are in the world. Welcome in. Ah, time's kind of time for me at this point. Yeah, man. When it's warm, it's warm. When it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can go outside if it's warm, right? Oh yeah, but UK is another thing, right? With all the rain and such. It's, yeah, I kind of like experience it through your stream. What's UK like, right? Because other people aren't outside training. I think that's something that's unique with your stream, right? You're outside. You're outside almost all the time. And you see it kind of like the weather in UK. That's kind of funny. I like that, you know? I like that. Yeah. So if you'd like to join in today, apparently there's a heat wave next week, so that's nice to me. Oh, that's that's good. 
Let me get that thing a little bit closer so it's easier for me to read. Good. Out for the middle of September though. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the world is crazy. Let's just call it by by its name, right? The world is crazy right now. Really crazy. Everything speeds up and the world speeds up and what's happening is speeding up. It's going to be crazy, yeah. That's how it is. Let's let's make the best of our life right now. So I'll invite you in today as we're going into a little bit of strength practice, but you know yoga. Yeah, we're just doing some planks, some chaturanga, so like coming down to the plank and pushing up and then some side plank and yeah, if you like to join in, please come to a great set, either down on the floor or up in a chair. By the way, how is your YouTube stuff going primitive? I mean, you put in so much work in your YouTube. And I also put in a lot of work, but um, yeah, the returns, you know, you need to get, you need to keep going for so long and I really invest a lot of time into it. And uh, maybe, maybe as I advertise it a little bit more, it kind of like creates value for me, but so far it's, it was really great to create this podcast. I've not had too much time recently, so I've focused on Twitch. Ah, okay, yeah. I saw your Instagram post, by the way, Primitive. And everybody here in the chat, if anybody is around already, uh, check out Primitive. And again, if you'd like to join in right now, we're starting with the yoga. Little shout out for Primitive. He's great, he's awesome. Go and ask him anything about like working out, nutrition. I think he's your man, he can answer you, and if he can't, I'm sure he will uh, research and he will be able to answer you next time. So with that said, come to a great sit, root down through your sitting bones, get long to the top of the head, from your perineum, this is between your genitals and your anus, try to draw a line up to your top of the head, breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest, you can lie your right hand on your belly. Left hand on your chest. It doesn't matter if you have the left hand on the belly or the right hand on your belly. But you have, what you want to feel is here, as you're breathing in, the uh, hand on the belly moves up. And then as you're breathing in deeper to your chest, what happens with your chest hand? Can you breathe into your back in your chest or do you breathe like forward? Breathing out again. Hi, all oh, popping in and out. Hi, you go with Chan. Thank you for coming in quickly and saying hello. I'm Marcel again, probably you know me already. This is Sean, Sean is here for energy entertainment and motivation. Hi, Chan. Good. And we are breathing in deep into your belly again. And then really try to breathe into your back. So not just into the front, like sticking your chest out, but try to breathe into your, into your back of the chest. And see how that feels, see how your hand feels on your chest. Have your shoulder blades a little bit on your back and then breathing out again. Chest out, belly out. And one more time, breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. And releasing. So here's the thing to remember. You don't want to push our chest just out. As you're breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest, we don't just want to push the chest out, but we want to have the chest like integrated in our body and our shoulder blades a little bit on the back. And these kind of like two are kind of contra movements. So if you activate one, the shoulder blades on the back, the chest want to come forward and we need to bring the chest a little bit back. Good, I'm good, thank you. Hi Sean, I'm happy to see you both. Okay, great, thank you, Yoga with Chan. Good that you're good. And release your arms by your sides. Bring your arms up, palms are facing forward, breathe in deep. Today is a special stream, it's kind of like to get my sleeping schedule back together because I normally stream in the morning. I'm breathing out, releasing. 
arms by your sides your arms by your sides down it was great training in with you guys in the discord call last last day bring your arms up again breathing in palms are facing forward get long 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 from your perineum to your fingers hold your breath here as you have the hands overhead and then breathing out releasing the arms by your sides down again And hold your breath as you have your hands next to your body down and then breathe again. Bring your hands up. Get long from your perineum to your fingers. And I'm breathing out. Again. Coming into our body right now, we're doing a centering practice. That's what's, what's it called. That's what we're doing. At the beginning of the yoga lessons, bring your hands to your thighs and move your palms forward and backwards on your thighs and connect with what there is right now. What kind of feeling is there right now going through your body? What kind of feeling is there on your palms? What kind of feeling is there on your thighs? Great. Good job. How does it feel? Do some emotions come up as you're doing this? Good. Yeah. Thanks, man. I found a new app for the Instagram stuff. Makes it super simple. Adobe Spark. Okay. Might check that out, but I'm not sure. You know, I've got my stuff going on. Yeah, that's, but that sounds great that you found something. Awesome. Sometimes I just miss messages because it's kind of all in the same color. It's kind of hard to see if the, just the chat goes a little bit faster already. It's kind of like, oh yeah, I read the, these messages, messages up there, but it's like actually not true. <laughs> Good. And then move your shoulders forward. Upward, backward and down. And again, great that you focus on just twitch uh, primitive. That's really a good thing that you do that. Uh, I try to get my focus like on YouTube and on Twitch a little bit. And I try to improve on YouTube and on Twitch. However, um, I'm kind of slacking off into like gaming. And so I removed all the, all the, Are you a vegan? Some bizzle asked. No, I'm not. Are you a vegan? Some bizzle. Move your shoulders forward, upward, backward and down. And forward, upward. I got you. Yeah, man. Yeah, you got me. You got me, man. <laughs> Move your shoulders forward, upward, backward, and down. And again, forward, forward, backward, and down, and release. Bring your arms forward, interlace the fingers, and circle your wrists. How are you doing, Sunbizzle? Hope you have a great day. Circling your wrist here. Shake your wrists. This is that Wonder Lie Silva wrist warm up. I don't I don't know what you're speaking about. But yeah, we're warming up the wrists a little bit, we're warming up the shoulders. The, the elbows, your whole body, bring, shake your arms a little bit up, bring the arms forward to your side, maybe a little to the back. And then grab on with your left arm to the right elbow and circle your right arm around. How does that feel? And other direction. And yeah, we're going for a little strength today, Zombiesel. 
Some Bizzle is your name, right? Yeah, Some Bizzle. And yeah, we're taking care of our body today. So if you like that, join in. Do some, do some exercises together with me. I mean, that's not a, my actual name. Yeah, Some Bizzle. But I mean, what's your actual name? Then I call you with your actual name if you want that too. Want that? Shake your wrists out, shake your arms out. I'm joining in. Realize I need to, to be led today. Hey, you're going with Chen? Yeah, you're welcome. Grab on with your right arm to your left elbow and circling your other side. Try to do both sides. Take your time. I'm not going too fast. And we're going for one hour, uh, Yoga with Chen. So until eight o'clock for my time, just like until o'clock, you know. My actual name is Grognak the Unrelenting. <laughs> well, hello there, Grognak. It's good to have you here. Would you like to join also in some yoga? <laughs> welcome to your doom. Uh, welcome to your doom, Grognak. Thank you for the, for the follow, I appreciate it. Shake your arms out, shake your elbows, shoulders. Good. And we're going to stretch, twist ourselves a little bit to the side. So sit up tall, bring the left hand to your right, right uh, uh, knee. So it can be on, and like sitting on your knees down, having the feet point to the back, but we can sit also cross leg, that's fine. Bring your left hand to your right knee, bring the right hand to your back, breathe in deep, get long, long, long from your perineum to your head and breathing out, twist a little bit more. We're not using this hand here. This hand, the front hand is for guidance. So we're just putting it there so we know where, how to move, in what kind of direction to move. Drawing the belly in and up, and looking over the right. Good. Breathing out, twisting more, breathing in, get longer. Breathing out, twisting more. Uh, breathing out, release. <sighs> We're, so other side, bring the left hand to the back and the right hand to the left knee. Do you have a yoga technique that can undo a witch's hex? Of course, of course, man. Just follow along. All this will like to undo your witch's hex. Sit up tall and breathe out. Twist a little bit more. Engage your belly muscles here. So we're not pulling with the front arm, but the front arm is there for the, the direction where we want to engage your belly, right? Looking over the left shoulder and release. Good job. So not going too far. Check in with your body, how that, that, that feels. Good. And slowly, we're leaning to the right, bring your right hand to the right, and we're rounding today. We're rounding today to the right. So bring your hand over the head, we're leaning to the right. How does that feel? And thank you for joining in, Yoga Vashem. I really appreciate that. Ah, I'm breathing out other side. You know, I've been also joining in from time to time with some other people. Joined in with Amber one time and joined in with Cocky Creative, uh, who unfortunately stopped doing yoga. She was really, really great. She was really, really doing a great job here on Twitch. However, she stopped doing it. I wanted, to, I wanted her definitely in my podcast, but she didn't want to. That's all right. Okay, good, because I'm really tired of living in the form of a pig. Wow, you can really, really uh, write good as in the form of a pig, man. Grognak, <laughs> grognak the pig. Okay, <laughs> today is fun, you know. Uh, which is love also a little. So please feel free to slowly stand up. Slowly stand up, transitioning slowly as Transitioning is half of yoga. Make sure you really feel your legs moving, 
standing up. Make sure you feel good as you stand up and take your time. Good. Shake your legs out. Shake your arms out. <laughs> your talented pick typer and writer. Yeah, Jen, he is definitely. So I'm transcribing everything through my secretary. <laughs> You have a secretary. That's that's great. Okay, stand up tall. In whatever kind of form you are, if you're in a pig, in a human form. <laughs> Good. Hey there, welcome in, Vedel. We're a little bit later today. Although, to be clear, my secretary is also a pig. Okay, and she's very talented. Okay. Good, uh, let's go a little bit further. One of my favorite exercises, and then I come back to the chat, is hugging the whole world. So how do we hug the whole world? Welcome in, Vidal. I really appreciate you being here as well. How are you doing? Bring your hands in front of the heart together and start to warm up your hands, your palms. Warm up your palms here. Great. And afterwards we go for some strength and more warm up. Warm up your hands and as soon as they are warm, bring the hands in front of your eyes together. Close your eyes, just like five millimeter away from your eyes, really close to your eyes. Feel the warmth emitting from your hands. Wait. And then release your hands down onto your face. And connect your fingers with, your, with the skin of the face and slowly draw the fingers down as rain would fall down on your face. Release the arms by your sides and bring the arms up. You might want to open your eyes again. Palms are pointing forward here. This is one of my favorite exercises here. So get, please get long from your feet to the top of the head. Breathe in as you're doing this. Get long, long, long. Next thing we're doing, we get long from the shoulders out to the fingers. Breathing in. Next thing we're doing, we extend the fingers away from each other. Breathe in deep. Good. And then one more deep breath. Get long from the feet to the top of the head. Get long from the shoulders out to the fingers. Extend the fingers away from each other. And imagining you want to hug the whole world. Breathing out, give yourself a big, big hug. Great job. How does that feel? And then release, change the side, other arm on top. Give yourself another hug and smile here. Taking care of yourself. You're doing great, great job. And release your arms. Good. Shake your legs out. Let's get a little bit more warmed up. More warmed up and then let's do some strength exercises if you're in for that. <clears throat> so let's go for two sun salutations and then let's do some more strength. So come forward to your mat or wherever you're doing. You don't need a mat here. And we bend the knees, we hinge at the hips, and we fall forward. Good. Breathing out and breathing in, lifting halfway. Straighten your lower back here, bring your right hand to your lower back and check that no vertebras are sticking out on your lower back. Move your hips over the heels, breathing out, folding forward. Place your hands down. Stepping back with your left leg, then with your right leg and shift your hips up into the sky. Come a little bit forward, bring your shoulders. So come between plank pose and downward facing dog. So downward facing dog is hips up, plank pose is forward and we come kind of like in between this. And from here we push our hands, get really, really long with 
if our hands get really really long with your legs and push your back up as well so you really want to be a little bit shaking with your arms shake a little bit with your legs and your back and then release down release down love the world and the world loves back yeah that's good that's good Jim. Release your body forward and down. Let's come into a child's pose. So bring your knees to the sides of the mat, big toes together, and let your body drop forward. Come into a child's pose. Release your head down and breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest. Again, if you can't breathe in that deeply, you might want to loosen your, your waist. So if you're wearing a belt, Loosen that belt a little bit. If there's too much pressure on your waist, loosen whatever kind of pants you're wearing. So you can breathe in deeply. First, then into your chest. And let's come up again. Bring your hands forward. Wait, let's sit back on your heels. So either toes tucked or toes untucked. This is one exercise that I do every time in my yoga lessons because it's so, so important. So bring your hands together, push the mounds of the fingers into each other. So bring the mounds of the fingers, that's where the fingers are attached, together and push them into each other like this, right? And then release the fingers down, the wrists down and push it into each other. So feel all the mounds of the fingers connected with, with each other and release again. If you have any questions at all throughout this yoga lesson, please feel free to ask in the chat. I'm here for you. Push in through the mounds of the fingers and release again. Feel all the mounds of the fingers connected with each other. Claw your fingers a little bit as well if you like and release. This is important to protect our wrists here. So that's why we're doing it. Two more times pushing in releasing and one more time pushing in through the mounds of the fingers and releasing shake your wrists out shake your shoulders shake your arms good and let's come forward bring your arms forward onto the mat pushing through the mounds of the fingers step a little bit back with your legs again here okay and push your hips up into the sky so here at the mount of the finger here in the front the index finger mount is really rooted to the to the floor so let me show you over here it's difficult to see because of the chat there, right? I hope you can see it. And then there's no air between the index finger mount and the mat here, so or the floor. No air between here. This is important to protect our wrists. And shift your hips a little bit more into the sky. Walk your heels up and down. Have your shoulders still a little bit up, so we're not kind of like hanging through 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 the shoulders, but we have to arms engaged you have the muscles engaged in our arms great job you're doing great breathing in deep and come forward into a plank pose and from here either knees down or knees up and bring the elbows into 90 degrees down release your hips down and release your body down and from here lift think forward and up as you lift yourself up with your hands lift yourself a little bit up just and have your head in line with the spine it's not looking up like this <laughs> it's in line with the spine so you probably look down 45 degrees to the floor have your feet rooted your knees rooted to the ground great job shift yourself back over the knees or directly up into downward facing dog so hips up into the sky you're doing great you guys smile a little Give yourself a pat on the back. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Breathe in deep. Look to the front between your wrists and start walking forward. When you're in forward fold, bend up with a straight back. Bring your arms over the head. Breathe in deep. Great. And breathing out, folding forward. And lifting halfway. Go a little bit faster here right now. Check with your lower spine. Breathing out, folding forward. Place your chin through the mounds of the fingers. Stepping back, right leg back, left leg back. Hips into the sky, breathing deep. 
and come forward into a plank position and release down 90 degrees with your elbows, elbows close to your body, release your hips down, release the body down. And again, think forward and up as you're breathing in. And maybe go a little bit deeper, have your elbows pointing back to your feet, your shoulder blades under the back together and your head is in line with the spine, pushing in through the mounds, the fingers, have your feet rooted into the floor, your knees rooted into the floor and draw your belly in and up. Shift yourself back to downward facing dog, hips up into the sky. You're doing great. Breathe in deep. Look between your wrists and start walking forward or jumping forward as you like. Bend your knees. Stand up with a straight back. Bring your arms up into the sky. Reach up. And release. Let's shake that out a little bit. Let's come to the middle of the mat. Bring your hair, legs hip width apart and start to jump out of the knees. Jumping out of the knees. Connecting with what kind of muscles are activated here in the body right now. And releasing all the muscles that are not necessary to do this movement. So your shoulders are released, your head is released. And let the shoulders and the head jump with this jumping motion that comes out of the knees. Great, great, great. And one of my teachers told me that he has been doing this for like 30 minutes. And I also tried it. And you know what happens is that you start to change something. You start to feel different and maybe you will find some pain in your body. If you already have some pain in your body, please feel free to just come out of it and stand up and wait for us to do something else. If you like to intensify it a little, you can jump out of the heels. You can also leave the floor with the toes and completely jump and try to release your shoulders a lot and your neck a lot. Great job. Very much an underrated exercise that gets you a lot, a lot in your body. And from there, release completely. Open your eyes again and let's, let's get going. Let's do a little bit more strength. So slowly fold forward, fold forward, come back with the legs. Great job. Let's come into downward facing dog here. And first of all, let's go through the good downward facing dog position. So what we want to have, get longer from your heart to your fingers. So really engage a little bit your muscles. Get longer from the heart to the fingers. Breathing in. Good, holding this as you're breathing out and then get longer from the heart to the hips. Push your hips up into the sky and bend your knees a little. Great job. One more time, breathing in. Get long from the heart to the fingers. Bend your knees, especially if you can't reach with your heels to the floor. Bend your knees. Then breathe in deep. Get long from the heart to the hips. Hips up into the sky. You want to feel here in downward facing dog, you want to feel more space in your lower spine here. More space in the lower spine. Great. And then come into a plank pose, bring your feet together and we shift to the left here. Shift to the left, coming into side plank. You might want to bring the front foot forward, push your hips up into the sky, draw the belly in and up. You're doing great. And you can have your hand either up into the air, shoulder blades onto the back together, or over your ear. Head is in line with the spine. Good job. This is variation one. You can stay here for a moment. Make sure that the shoulders are a little bit behind your wrists. Good. Then variation two is stagger the feet, hips up into the sky, draw the belly in and up. Your hand can be again up or next to your ear. Variation three, you choose how far you take it today. 
leg up, draw the belly in and up. If you look down with your eyes, you want to be able to see barely the toes. Great job. Variation four, foot in on your thigh. Draw the belly in and up. Head. Hand again extended either next to your ear or up into the sky. You're doing great. And if you fall out of it, just laugh about it and slowly come out of it. Come back into downward facing dog and walk a little bit. How does your left hand feel? How do your legs feel? Great job. Doing amazing. And from here come again into plank pose and let's do the side. So the other side, shifting to the right. Push yourself up with your hips up. Hips up is the, is the thing that we want to have here. Front leg comes forward in front of your hips. This is variation one. Have your shoulders behind your wrist. Important. And from here, push your hips up. Side plank, good. Then bring your, stagger the feet. This is variation two. Where you can just stay in variation one, that's fine. Extend your shoulders, extend your hand up, your shoulder blades onto the back together. Great job, on next to your ear, fine. And variation three. Bring your foot up, Draw the belly in and up. Doing great. Variation four, bring your foot into your big thigh. Can help with your hand. Good. And if you fall out of it, laugh about it. And release, slowly come out. Downward facing dog. Move your legs left, right. Heels to the ground. How does that feel? And let's Come in a quick child's pose, so bring your knees to the sides of the mat, big toes together and reach your hands forward, release your body down, breathe in deep. <sighs> Great job, breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest. Slowly come up, bring your hands forward, push into the mounds of the fingers and shift your hips up into the sky. Downward facing dog, look between your wrists and start to walk forward. Great job. With a tall back. Shake your legs out. And I try to, let's challenge you a little bit today. So I have one, uh, inversion uh, practice or a handstand preparation that I'd like to share with you today. It's not too hard for me because I practice it for quite a time, but it's quite hard. So just check, check if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, do just one repetition or do some repetitions. <laughs> let's see how that goes. First, first of all, let's warm up a little bit more with our forward fold and such. So we want to stretch our hamstrings here quickly. So bring your left leg forward, your right leg a little bit to the back. We're bending the back leg here and we hinge at the hips and lean forward. Hinge at the hips and lean forward. And really check that you're hinging at the hips. You don't want to do this. You're not doing this. You're hinging at the hips, Push push your butt out and lean forward. You want to feel a stretch here in the hamstrings? Great job. And you can also pull your toes up a little bit if you like to do that. It's not, not a must. Get long from your hips to your head. Breathe in one more, more, one more time, deep into the belly, into the chest. Great, and release, other side. So this is my, how I stretch the hamstrings because the other poses that yogis do don't feel good to me. 
So push your hips out, get long from your hips to the head, hinge at the hips, feel the hamstring stretch here going on. Maybe you're way further down, that's fine. Protect your kneecap here a little bit so you're not just pushing your knee through but you're holding it, engaging it a little bit, good. Breathe in deep. Your lower back is not, no vertebras are sticking out. You can control with one hand on your lower back. And breathing out. And step up. Shake your legs out. How did that feel? Let's go one more time to a forward fold and then let's start doing the little exercise. And then we're doing some more plank strengthening. Good. Bend your knees, hinge at the hips, fold forward. And you might feel the hamstrings going on right now. That's a lovely stretch. Jen, that's one of my favorite stretches that I like to do to stretch the hamstrings. But also forward fold is great for that. As we're now coming into a forward fold, you might feel the hamstrings stretch that we just worked on right now. And what we want to do here is important. We are not having the hips to the back, but we bring the hips over the heels. We bring the hips over the heels. And what's happening is that we have a lot of the weight over the toes. Good, that's really important. Release your head down. Release the head down. Good, have your hips over the heels. Check again with yourself and release the neck. You can nod your head a little bit. Credits out to Yogahana. <laughs> and I uh, kind of like took it over from his lesson. It's great. Nod your head here. How does that feel? Bring your hand over. Interlace the fingers. And and draw a wave with your arms. So just the nodding was from Yoga Hana, don't worry. Just the nodding with the head to release the neck and the head. Just draw a wave with your arms from the back and once you're drawn away, just release and let gravity carry over. Let gravity do its thing. Have your hips over the heels as good as you can. So a lot of the weight will be over the toes, especially if you're not as flexible. Honor where you are today, you're doing great. And you know, Primitive was here before, and I kind of asked him to do a pancake or to do like forward folds, and, and he kind of showed it in his stream. And I was like, wow, this guy is crazy good. And he's really, really good. So check out Primitive Rage, he's great. He's a great streamer from UK. Shake your head a little bit and bring your hands back to your hips. Bend your and Slowly see how your body feels. Close your eyes. How is your body feeling right now? Doing great. Might need a big hug right now. So give yourself a big hug if you need that. Smile. You're doing great. Taking care of yourself. Close your eyes and just feel how your body feels right now. And then release your arms. Hey, Tony, I just, I just was talking to you. You were just being talked about, all good stuff. Yeah, I was talking about nodding the head and you were folding forward. I was like doing that. I was joining your lesson one time and you were like falling forward and nodding the head and I kind of just did the same and said like oh yeah Tony was doing that and I like kind of like picked it out cherry picking out what what I like right and yeah we're going a little bit deeper right now so an exercise that's a little bit harder coming up 
we already warmed up the wrist quite good. And again, remember the mounts of the fingers want to push into the floor to protect our wrist. This is important. So we're hinging at the hips, we're bending the knees and we're coming forward, placing the pushing in through the mounts of the fingers and we shift all, all the way to the hands right now, to the mounts of the fingers. And as we're doing that, stepping a little bit forward, we're stepping back. Matt. Forward and step. Stepping back. Doing a lot of stretch. Turn that and mat. I have a mentor that says, shake your head, no release the negative, not, no, head, no, release the negative, not your head, yes, invite in the positive, exactly. Oh, Dragon Blue Guff is here as well, welcome in you guys, so great, you know, I'm streaming one time a little bit later and everybody joins in, so, so much fun. Let's cut to a plank pose and as we're doing a little bit more strength today, I'll invite you to either have your knees down or your knees up and we're just going into Chaturanga. Chaturanga is important that we go down forward and down. We go forward and down, have your elbows close to your body. So let's go forward and down, elbows close to your body. Breathing in deep. And pushing up, reach up you guys. Let's go down again. Holding here and pushing up. And let's go down again. Breathing in deep. And breathing out, go down. Get it with your breath. One more time down. Good. Shift yourself back to the downward facing dog and walk back with your arms right here, right now. You're doing amazing. Is that usually very early here when you're streaming? Yeah, you know, Tony, I kind of need to get back to my regular uh, sleeping schedule. So I decided to, to um, um, shift one or kind of like quit one class and right now I'll stream a little bit later at least for me it's later right so I get back into the regular streaming pattern which is morning but right now we're going to create some more strength some more heat in our body shake your legs out and as soon as you're ready fold forward hinge at the knees forward fold shout out to Tony Tony, big shout out to Yoga with Chen. with Chen, check them out. Forward fold here. All the weight to our hands, all the way to your hands. And just leave the toes, toes off the floor away from the feet, the hands, push into the mounts of the fingers. Do this until we are at the front of the mat. Good. Take care, go slow, no hurry here. Protect your wrists. Fingers up connected into the floor. Front. Stand up with a straight back. Great job. Let's come into the middle of your mat. As soon as you're there, shake your body out a little. 
Thank you for the shout out. Thank you, Dragon Blue. Thank you, Dragon Blue. <sighs> Hope you're doing great, Dragon Blue. Shake your legs out, shake your feet out. And from here, what time is it? Is it? Hi, Marcel and Sean, I'm good, and you? We're doing great, thank you for asking. Helps me out so much with the shout outs. Ah, that's so great. Yeah, Dragon Blue is great. Dragon Blue helps out a lot. Shake your legs out, and we're doing one exercise that I got from a dear friend from America. It's not Tony, it's not somebody here on Twitch, but uh, not a friend that I know. So bring the arms by your sides, and we create this big box from our hips to our shoulders. Create a box, integrated box here in the belly into your chest. Bring your arms out to the side, smile. <laughs> and leaning to the right with this box, keeping that box. Your left leg hip lifts automatically and then leaning to the left. Good, extend your arms out. Great, leaning to the right. I've been doing that for quite a while. I like that exercise. Leaning to the left. Keep your box in the belly and your chest. Your head is in line with the spine. Leaning to the right. So much to explore, You're doing great. Your lower leg lifts automatically off the floor. Great job! And done. Leaning to the right, holding it here in the right. Grab around your belly and feel how the left side feels of your body and the right side feels. What you should feel is the left side is really engaged, the right side is soft. And then lean to the other side. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the chat. Good. And grab around your belly. Feel that the right side is engaged and the left side is soft. And from there, release again. Shake yourself out, jump a little. Good. I saw you do this one of the first streams I saw of yours, simple yet effective. Yeah, this is really great for your core to get a lot of like um, mindfulness, body, body awareness into your body. So we are doing some breathing practice uh, later onwards. But right now, let's come and lie to the floor. Let's come to the floor. We're going for another 15 minutes, then we're finished. So finish sport right now. I don't like to carry boxes now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like lie, lie to your back. Lie to your back, completely, completely on your back, and bring your feet in, bring your feet in. So that's one, this one exercise that I like to do from time to time. It's called floor twerking. How, how are you guys doing? What, do you want to see some floor twerking? This is really great for your lower back. It's really, really great for your lower back. And, um, the history behind it, it's called, it's actually called knocking. But um, a friend of mine who unfortunately doesn't come anymore to the stream, Tyler, he called this exercise floor twerking. And I thought like, yeah, that's a good, that's a good name for that pose. So what we want to do is we bring the elbows close to our body, fingers are pointing up and we lift the hips. We lift just the lower vertebras off the floor and release the hips again. So release the lower vertebras again to the floor. So engaging the muscles, engaging the muscles and releasing. Engaging muscles up, releasing down. So not pushing down, but releasing the muscles down. Good. And we're going like in a knocking rhythm. So as you would knock on a, on a door. So, so up and down, releasing all the tension in your lower spine here. Hitting the floor with your, with your back, right? So not hitting with the muscles, but releasing the muscles, right? Engaging up, releasing down. Great job. Should we be really, really feeling good? If it doesn't feel good to you, please just stop. Please just stop listening to your body what feels good. And then stop, breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest.
feel how that feels, feel how that felt. And we go one more time, lifting your hips up and down. Just like three, four fingers lifting the hips up and smashing the hips down again into the floor. It should create a little sound. Great job. And then release completely. Breathe in deep again. Awesome job. Now next thing you're doing, have your ankles really close to your bottom and lift your hips up, lift your belly up, your back up and walk with your shoulders a little bit in. Shoulders a little bit in, interlace the fingers behind your back and have intention in your knees. So the knees want to stay over the heels. They don't fall to the side, but we have the knees over the heels. Important, this is important. Really focus on the knees. Good, breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest. Look over the head if you can, <laughs> with your eyes, looking over the head. Breathe in one more time, deep into the belly, as deep as you can. And release your shoulders, release your arms. And this is the exercise, coming slowly down, vertebra by vertebra. This is the exercise you want to pay attention to. Great job. Slowly down, as soon as you're completely down. Vertebra by vertebra, going down onto the floor. Great job. Good, you've done so good. Yes, let's twerk. Head twerk away, he said Dragon Blue. Oh, yeah, great. Yoga of Chen, us girls should avoid this until we, we rid those trolls. <laughs> we got rid of those trolls. Which rolls? <laughs> okay, let's come to a sit, you guys. If you like, you can sit in a chair. And we're just doing some um, square breathing, as I call it. You know, there are so many names for it. But this is the, the breathing technique that I like to teach. So please know that if this breathing technique becomes suffocating to you, please feel free to just release and come back to your natural breath. But right now, let's breathe in deep through the nose in. As soon as you're ready, breathe in deep through the nose in. And breathe out. And again, deep in through the nose. And breathe out. And we start together right now. So breathing in. Two, three, four. Hold your breath. Two, three, four. Breathing out two, three, four, holding your breath, two, three, four, breathing in again, two, three, four, holding your breath, two, three, four, breathing out, two, three, four, holding your breath, two, three, four, breathing in and continue. You can count to eight, you can count to 12, to 16, to whatever feels good to you. And I'll continue as well. I, I join in as well. And we go for around four minutes. So breathe in. And or continue. Continue. Not breathe in. Continue.
Next time you breathe in, release this breath and come back to your natural breathing. Great, great job. Let's come back down and lie back down onto your back. Woo. If you have any questions, please always feel free to ask. Here for that. Lie back down on your back. Extend your legs. Toes are facing away from each other. Arms, feet are facing away from each other. Arms are lying by your sides. Palms are pointing up towards the sky. And we're in Shavasana. Make sure your head feels comfortable so you can lift up your head a little bit and look a little bit more up or bring the chin a little bit more back. Good. Chin a little bit more down in one way. Good. Make sure your palms are pointing towards the sky as this brings our shoulders a little bit more to the back. Good. From there, just be for around two minutes, then I'll get you back out of it again. Just be. Just be. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your toes. When you're ready, come back to your body. Draw your knees in towards your belly. And shift yourself to either the left or the right side. Coming to lie down in your side body position. In this side body position. So come into the side body position. Release all the tension in your body. Make it comfortable for yourself. Make this position comfortable for yourself. Doing such a good job. Great. Release and softening. Softening the skin of the face. Release the tongue, the neck, the shoulders. Release the arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, the chest, the belly, the hips, your whole back. Check in with your legs, release them. The knees, the ankles, the heels, the toes. 
Great job. Breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest. I'm breathing out, resting right now, feeling connected with the floor. One more time, deep breath in. Breathing out, releasing completely. From here with your next breath, lift yourself up by your side and come into a final sitting pose. Bring your hands in front of the heart together as soon as you're sit, set up, as you soon as you're set up. <laughs> so sitting up, bring your hands in front of the heart together. Honoring your yoga practice today, have your eyes closed. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for tuning in. With that said, I wish you a wonderful day. Namaste. The emptiness inside of me recognizes the emptiness inside of you. Release the hands, opening the eyes, and welcome back. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing with, with us. Yeah! Wow! Woohoo! I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. Some, some exercises were a little bit more difficult. Some exercises were easier. I hope you enjoyed it. So in this strength practice today, at least that's what I call strength yoga practice, a little bit. Probably you can do it way, way harder, but um, like with some chair poses and such. But that's, that was all right, I guess. That was wonderful. I'm very glad I joined and I needed that energy you offered. Thank you so much for joining in, Jen. Really appreciate that and I hope I hope to see you at the uh, at, uh, um, yoga fun then. Again, my name is Marcel and I'm here with Sean. Sean is here for energy, entertainment and motivation. And we are teaching daily. So today was day 256 of 2020. So quite a journey so far in 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I mean, more like I hope you enjoy it um, or can enjoy some of 2020 so far uh, through all the struggles that we have been going through, right? Dragon Blue, honestly, trolls will do what they do. I just block them. Namaste, Marcia, Sean, and Klaus. Yeah, they will always be about. Yeah, I yeah. am. Let trolls be, let trolls be. They need to get get some experience in. That's incredible of you and Sean, sending you gratitude, yeah. And tomorrow will be day 257 and we will be doing an intention practice. Next to that, uh, we're going back into the morning. I'm kind of fixing my sleep schedule right now at the moment. So we're in the morning again tomorrow from seven o'clock Central European time to 7.45. We're teaching an intention practice. Come in and enjoy if you like to do that. Next to that, join my Discord. Don't forget to do that and uh, connect with all the wonderful people there uh, and get yourself a shout out every time you are streaming. Make sure you get that. I managed to count to 10 in the box breathing exercise. Usually I reach seven. Ah, great. Great. You know, sometimes, sometimes are different. And um, next to that, I appreciate, of course, every follow here on Twitch that you can give me. And all these lessons here, 
These live streams lessons will be uploaded to YouTube, so if you like to review something, please feel free to do so. Or now that you joined in, oh, it was day 256, and I joined in there first, so I wanted to review that or something like that, you can do that. And by the way, we also have a wonderful podcast going on. If you manage to miss some of the podcasts, feel free to check it out. And this is on my second YouTube channel, so feel free to check it out. The episode with Tony, so with Yoga Hana, should be up very, very soon. Uh, I, I try to work on it today a little bit more. And let's see, maybe I can finish it, maybe not. It just takes some time, you know. With that said, thank you so much for being here again and I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you very very soon. Big hug to you guys out there. I mean big hug, big hug to, to the whole world but also big hug to you guys and thank you for joining in today. And let's see where we can spread the love from here and go and raid somebody! <laughs> Always raiding here. So. Cocky is online, um, she's streaming currently uh, Sims, so as I've been talking about her, let's go and give her a raid, and yeah, Cocky Creative, and she, she's an awesome, wonderful um, yoga streamer, but I'm not sure if she's still streaming yoga, I haven't seen her in quite a while, so maybe go and ask her and maybe tell her that we're doing a yoga fun and that she could be also part of it in the future. So, so she is a great yoga teacher. Let's go and check her out, you guys. And I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. And bye-bye. Or bye-bye soon. Let's send her some love. And again, we are raiding always with love. I almost forgot. We are always raiding with love. So put your favorite emote in the chat, then write Raiding with Love, and then put your favorite emote again in the chat. And again, I appreciate everybody that was here. I appreciate Viddle if, if you're still around. Appreciate um, everybody, Dragon Blue, Chen. Big shout out to you, Chen. Big shout out to Tony. Um, who else was here? Sombizzle, who trolled a little bit, was here. I appreciate it. Primitive was here. Big shout out to you. Primitive uh, underline rage. He's a great streamer as well. And with that said, let's go and raid with the following message. So raiding with love, put your favorite emotes like encapsulated, encapsulating raiding with love and spam that a little bit in the chat. Bye bye, you guys. See you very soon. Yeah. <laughs> bye, you guys. Bye, 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 bye.
big game, but that was kind of terrifying. We had these like tricycles, you go down the mountains, and oh my gosh. So sorry. You have to